calling the legislative bill DOA dead. So Georgia is one of the many states now easing shutdown restrictions, especially when it comes to restaurants. They're allowing us to dine in in some places, but you might want to be careful and make sure you double check that receipt. That's because some restaurants are adding what's being called a COVID-19 surcharge. The extra fee is to help businesses manage costs during the pandemic. So I want to bring in Liza Lucas, who is live right now in Fulton County at her home. And Liza, though this may not be happening in Georgia just yet, it has many people upset about it. That's right. One of the pictures of one of those receipts was picked up across social media. It's been shared on Twitter hundreds of times, generating hundreds of comments from across the country. And there have been pretty mixed reactions when it comes to this idea of a COVID-19 surcharge. Let's get to some of that conversation right now. Some people calling it ridiculous. You can see Ruby right there and others saying they haven't even thought to check their receipts at this point until now. So this is definitely putting this on people's radar. Now, the owner of the Missouri Japanese restaurant actually told NBC the 5% church charge was added last week after an increase on meat, seafood, and vegetables from their local suppliers. And some people say, hey, that is a small price to pay to keep the business open. Now, the restaurant says it posted signage inside, outside, and on social to let customers know, but they've had complaints coming in across the country, so they eventually removed that surcharge and upped prices. And we've seen other restaurants on social media post similar updates as well. And a lot of people have been buzzing about this, asking if this is even allowed, and legal experts say, yes, those charges are allowed, and restaurants can adjust their prices how they wish, but disclosure to customers is indeed important. So let us know what you think. Use that hashtag Morning Rush ATL. Would you be okay with something like this? I want to hear from you this morning. Thanks so much, Liza. So I'm kind of um, torn in between this because I definitely agree with you, Crash, when you mentioned at the top of the show that, hey, of course you'd be okay with the percentage increase to help these small businesses, these restaurants stay afloat. But at the same time, some of these people who are dining in are the same ones who lost their job. Are they now going to go to their employer, their new employer, and say, hey, I'm going to expect a small surcharge because I lost my job. So if a regular person can't do it, why can restaurants do it to people who are also hurting during this pandemic? Yeah, I was reading a lot of our Facebook comments on this story on the 11 Alive Facebook page. It seemed kind of split. I think the, the thing that upset people the most was the surprise, and it seemed to be split. Also, you can almost compare it to the shelter in place, people who are for it and against it. It's almost like, would they rather have the choice to pay extra or be forced to pay this? Um, and that's kind of where the split is. Chesley, you got any last words? Well, I, I think that, you know, we're seeing groceries go up as well. And so you got to expect that spillover to, to be the case. Of course, they have to buy the food and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I understand, I at least understand. And if you're going to be eating out, um, yeah, these people got to cover their cost as well. So certainly understand that. We'd love to hear what you think as well. Go ahead and uh, let us know your opinion. Use the hashtag Morning Rush ATL and let us know. Love to hear what you think. All right, let's take a look at our forecast for today. We are looking at a few clouds overhead, but uh, not a whole lot of rain coming out of those clouds, especially up to the north where we've been seeing that uh, each and every morning so far. A couple sprinkles there, but not so much today. And I think those clouds will clear out as we